Hey everyone, this is Sean Higginbottom, the character TD and animator here at Red Panda Studios. Before I get started with this tutorial, I wanted to let everyone know that we will be making a lot more of these videos, uh, so feel free to place your request on our channel. Um, for anyone that's seen my demo reel, uh, a lot of people have asked me how I got the spawns muscles to scale. Well, I'm going to be entering that in this video alone. I won't be going over how to apply and how to use muscle, so you have to already know that going in. As you already know by now, this is Red Panda and the muscle is applied. I'll play it here so you can see it jiggling around. So you don't have to take my word for it that the muscle is actually working. Um, but the issue, if you are in this video, you probably know that when you scale the character, the muscle does not scale with them. You get this really weird deformation. So to fix this, you want to select an attribute called User Scale. Um, if you select one of the muscles, uh, you'll see it right here. And basically, if you scale this, you'll start to see the muscle morph in shape. This is the attribute that you need to be connected with the scaler of your master of your master control. So what you want to do is you want to select the node, double click the name, copy it, type in select the bottom here, paste, push enter. Now you have that selected. Go to General Editors, Connection Editor, and reload it on the right. Okay, so now what you want to do is you want to look for Squash Data, and it'll be right here on the bottom. On the left side, you want to load in your master controller, or whatever you're using to scale. Um, select your scale attribute, and user scale. Those are now connected. We'll want to do the same thing with the actual geometry or the nerve of the muscle itself. I named it Mus, so you select it again, double click the name, copy, select, and reload it on the right in the connection editor. Except this time we want to go back down to the bottom and you'll see muscle data. You want to open it up. At the bottom you'll see user scale. Open that up and you want to connect your scale with all three of these attributes and we'll close this out. Now when you scale oh, you'll see that the muscle no longer deforms really weird and when you play the animation even though he's at 0 0.2 the muscles still move as they should. See it's a pain to figure out but it's actually pretty easy Feel free to ask us any questions and we'll try to get back to you in a future video. Also, thanks for watching and please subscribe.